technically you're excellent so how did you uh, did you take a course or did you teach yourself well that's that's one of the things that you realize and I suppose that's one of the things that you talk about it's like when you realize that what you want to do is figuration and you have a clear idea of the things that really get you going with painting like everyone has their own interests but the things that kind of got me excited in painting of other painters required a certain technical language that I suddenly realized that I just didn't have it did so many different things I did a lot through reading a lot through looking at paintings and again it's really interesting I've been looking at paintings all my life but there's something that clicks and changes when you start looking as a painter and there's something really interesting that suddenly the paintings become teachers and not just something that you think is wow but they actually start teaching you and then if I had I was lucky I, I was lucky I suppose I was very very lucky to coincide in Madrid with someone who I did classes with um, I say it was lucky as well, but I kind of sought her out and I saw how she was working. She's quite a, a classically trained painter, beautiful draftsmanship, and I did some classes with her. We coincided in Madrid for two years, then kind of I went off to live in Barcelona and then London, and now she's in New York. So it was really, again, serendipitous that we were just there at the same time. Um, I also have done short courses with painters that I admired their work and I thought that I could learn from them. Um, I even did the Anatomy for Artists course at UCL, which is where you kind of you're there, kind of drawing in the dissection room. Um, oh, really? <laughs> I don't think they offer it anymore. It'd been, I think maybe the year that I did it was the last year that they offered it. It's quite full on. I mean, it's it's really quite harsh. You have this sort of romantic idea of Leonardo doing his kind of dissections and and drawing as he's doing it, and you kind of think, my God, he must have had a cold, cool head. To be able to do that because it's really quite a harsh experience oh gosh <laughs> but things like that i mean just so many different things reading a lot reading everything i could get my hands on um just yeah so it's it's complicated because it's a mix whenever people say like i'm self-taught or i'm not self-taught i think that it's a really complicated line i'm partly self-taught and partly not self-taught um i suppose going back to what you were talking about before about when you suddenly realise that there's a challenge that you've got ahead. And for me, one of them was, how do I learn this language? It's like another language. It's yeah. like starting from scratch and learning how to paint. And so you sort of have to build it and you have to find the things that keep you going and be aware of your weaknesses and confront them, Yeah, basically.